Okay, so hi, I have a story to tell as well, like Jesse. So I'm Priya, and I'm the founder for Design for Social Change. And I'm a cyclist in London, I've cycled in several places, and this, the story of Changeify basically started when I had a really bad cycle accident outside my house in Camberwell, and I tried to fix the streets. I actually used Fix My Street, I also followed up with our Southwark Council website. But what really annoyed me was there was no two-way feedback between the council the system on where exactly the roadworks are and what exactly is happening to other people's similar kind of reports. So there seemed to be like a gap in the city's infrastructure where any cyclists like myself or yourself who can potentially see what's actually going to be a trending issue or going to be a potential hazard cannot actually actively feed into a system in order to self-improve that. So that's why we started Changeify. And currently, I mean, I'm also a big fan of Fraggle Rock as a child, and I still love the doozers, and always wondered who actually runs the cities. It's not just, you know, the councils, and it's just not community groups. And I was gra glad to see Gavin's slide earlier, which mentioned SAP. I was just telling Usman next to myself that, you know, SAP has got a huge contract in lots of government contracts. Similarly, the, the cities are run by the capitals, by the circles. And what becomes very interesting as a developer is how do you interface with those people or actually managing these city services. So what we have done and what we, what we are actually planning to do is we've got this IC Innovate grant now to work with Amy Ferroviel, and we're gonna be trialing this uh, pilot in uh, the city of Plymouth, where we are actively working with 200 road users. They could be cyclists, runners, walkers. And another thing, moving back to Yodit's point as well about trying to recruit people using Twitter, we notice that many people might not be using social media, but they are actively using the city. There's older generation, there are other kinds of people. So how do you actually get real citizen participation? So I think this is a big topic because a lot of people talk about smart cities and uh, people talk about how do you engage citizens, but citizens don't owe us as developers to actually come to the party. We're all very busy people. Why should I go and engage and actively give my data in order to do something? It has to be fun, it has to be social, it has to be something where people bother up to actually turn up and do something as a group. Because if you think about it, you'd rather go down to the pub with your mates and have a pint and whinge about the roads than go around with a phone in the dark when it's rainy and start taking photos of potholes. That's not a good time out. So I think as designers, it comes up to us. I know open data is the holy grail, but that alone is not gonna get somebody out to come and participate. It has to be fun, social, well-designed, and that's why we're trying this pilot in Plymouth. And if you have friends who are in Plymouth, I'd love to um, ask them to join us. We'll be starting in the second or uh, third week of November. And there's also a great uh, event happening by the Plymouth Council and the open data groups out there this weekend. So give me a shout if you'd be interested to join. Thank you.